Hello, welcome back. How you doing? Good, good, good. Uh, finish this up between the episodes. Absolutely love this. When we step in, all the water disappears. And I've reorganised the chests a little bit as well now. We've got the woods, the stones. That's a uh, worked stone, if you like. Sand, gravel, yep. Where's the really good one? There it is, the redstone chest. So yeah, finish that up. I love it. The noise isn't even slightly irritating to me either. Uh, spent some time at the skeleton grinder, so now I have an axe. Uh, efficiency 4 on breaking 3, silk touch 1. Always nice. Um, but yeah, I think today just going to spend some time in here for a start and just decorate a bit, I think. Let me get rid of some of these ugly, ugly stones. Um, this portal as well is going to be moved. If you watched the last episode, you'll, you'll remember it doesn't sync up properly with the one in the nether, so I'm going to move it. Um, one, because I don't like it being here. Two, because the pigmen keep activating these. Oh. Um, and also, I think it's just through here. Is it this torch? Yeah, I think it's this one. Or this one. But directly above us is the iron farm. And I thought it'd be great if the golems would drop down into here, so we can actually watch them falling down. So, yeah. Need some more rope wood. <laughs> I don't get bored of it. I just don't get bored of it at all. Yeah, need lots of oak wood. Need some leaves. Um, not sure what else at the moment, so I will be back shortly. Alright. Gathered a few supplies up and started putting like a ceiling in. Um, and I want this to look like a tree canopy, so this is going to be completely covered all the way along here. And have it drop down in a few places like that. And then for the edges, I want to break it up a little bit. I don't like it just going into these 90 degree angles so I thought about perhaps breaking that up with maybe a dirt border like this and then when that grows over hit it with some bone meal so at the moment this room is perfectly shaped but I kind of want to get rid of some of that feel so you know peel this wall back Like that, perhaps. Like I say, when that grass is over, then I can hit it with a piece of bone meal. So the, the middle will be nice and clear, but then the edges will be sort of overgrown a little more, maybe. Don't know. Hmm. Interior design isn't really my thing. But uh, I'm going to learn for this series. I did think about some vines as well, but the vines, you find them in jungles and swamps. That's a bit... Is that too low? Nah, that's fine. Yeah, the vines you'll find in jungles and swamps, so I want to keep that for there. Um, which means I do want some other kind of vegetation in here as well. Which is where the bone meal comes into it. How's that doing? Yeah. Uh, and I thought about in one corner as well. Sort of like a, almost like a custom tree, but just a big trunk. Nope. 
Nope. Like that, maybe? Hmm. Kind of like it, actually. Yeah, it's growing on me. Growing. Like the grass. Get it? Did you get it? No, oh, okay. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll carry on for a minute and show you what it looks like at the end. Alright, big reveal time. You ready? <laughs> I really, really like this actually. It's got that forest feel to it, definitely, with all the oak wood, with all the leaves. Maybe a little more bone meal here. Wow, too much. Way too much. Maybe that one as well. That one as well. Maybe a two high piece there. And there. Yeah, definitely. And get some hidden lighting in the back here as well. Just some pumpkins. Jack-o'-lanterns, sorry. But yeah. Yeah, really, really like this. I like the feel of it. Um, I haven't put any leaves in here though. Practical areas I don't think need this kind of over detailing. But these transitional spaces, like this one, definitely, definitely look better for having a bit more work done on them. But yeah, I like it. They're coming from the sort of savannah feeling area into a more lush area. That's made me really excited actually for going that way towards the jungle because that will be even more lush. Uh, but the next thing on my list now is to clear out quite a big chunk here actually. Uh, this is where the iron's going to come down. I'm pretty sure it's that one. So I'm going to do a lot of that off camera though. Oh boy. I don't mean to sound like I'm blowing my own trumpet but this is looking really good. Yeah, considering I didn't have much of a plan going into this episode, I'm having all kinds of ideas now. So this is like a, I suppose this is like a temple hidden underground. And if you didn't know that the spawner was up there, it would be a place where the golems would just magically appear and then burn in lava. Yeah, really, really liking this. Uh, need to dig dig up now. It's actually quite a way up. I didn't realise how low down I actually was. Uh, let's have a look. Y50. So it's a good 14 blocks up to the actual iron farm. Um, but yeah, I think, I think for now this will do. I feel like doing something else. Hmm... I think I need to get the portal sorted. It's probably next on the list. All right, so it's actually the next day in real life now. Um, I did some little bits and pieces off camera. You can see that this has all been dug now to the ceiling, uh, to the iron farm, sorry. So all the golems are dropping down here. Some hoppers, uh, did some AFKing as well overnight to get some iron together. Because I need 15 stacks for the next big redstone project that I have in mind anyway. Um, this will be the furnace room eventually. Uh, move the portal as well. That's now here. Might make it a little bit bigger. Looks kind of narrow. I want something big. Big and domineering that looks like a you know, portal as opposed to a little doorway to somewhere. Uh, some stairs leading up here and that leads to the next bit that I want to work on which is through here 
Um, and I'll just hop up to the surface and show you. So that little hole brings us out here, uh, which will then make a tunnel hopefully over to the other side of the island here. So my idea was to build a glass tunnel through this water into this island over here because just around here is another cave system. Um, I've explored a little bit down here. This leads to quite a few bigger, wider areas that will be great for things like the tree farms. Um, I think it goes all the way over here. No, maybe not. It's pretty big. Anyway, I'll put it that way. But yeah, that's the idea next. Uh, I need to gather some sand, get some glass cooked, um, I think I might block all this in with sand. It's not a very big area, not a very long tunnel either, but there's going to be a lot of water pushing in, so I think if I block it off completely and then dig out the space I need, that'll make things a little easier for me. So I'll fetch some sand, I'll get that cooked, and we'll get this underway. So yeah, I was getting a bit bored of using iron and whatnot tools. So I popped over to the skeleton grinder, picked up some levels, and now I have a terrible sword and a terrible shovel as well. Uh, totally worth it. But uh, this is looking a bit of a mess at the minute, I know. But this is just to give an idea of what's going to be happening. Uh, I'm thinking a nice little arch tunnel like this. Can't really go much higher. That's the water level up there. If I go much higher, it's going to be... Uh, pretty much hitting the, the surface of the water. So what I thought I'd do is knock down a level here. Just come down one more level all the way along. So now the arch is a little bit more above, above my head. And then for the walls and the ceiling, I've got some light blue glass. And obviously this sand, you won't be able to see this, that'll all be gone afterwards. I'm going to have to do some landscaping as well, just to make this all fit in properly. Yeah, I like the look of this. It's going to be very interesting. Very unique feature in the base, anyway, if nothing else. Ah, some more glass. Wow, actually, this is going to look pretty awesome, I think. So, yeah, definitely take it down another level. Down to here. And then for the floor, undecided at the moment. It's tempting to grow the grass again all the way through, but I don't know. I'm thinking. I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm thinking yet. I might just put grass in and then let it grow all the way across, open up this and see what's through there, and then decide from there, I think. Really not sure. Ideally, it'd be nice to have some um, sea lanterns and things like that, but no sign of a 
temple yet, so that'll have to be for another day, I think. All right, time to let the water in. Just uh, put a layer down. I'm gonna fill this first, I think. Well, let's be quicker if it was diagonal. Should be watertight. Should be. Soon find out if it isn't. <laughs> that one in there. Dave the hamster is awake, by the way, if you hear a scratching in the background. I do apologise. Alright, nearly done. Nearly done. One more there. Excellent. Uh, best way of doing this is probably remove this first. I think I'll cut ahead. Oh, well, that's all clear down there. Let's quickly run round, have a look at it from the from underneath. Hello, rabbit. Come here, come here. <laughs> Got two rabbits over here trapped in a boat. These have been here a little while. Hi. Anyway. Um, Oh, oh, oh yes, uh, a bit more sand away from here maybe. Same on this side. Let's have a look in the daylight actually as well, I think it's getting dark. One moment please. Ah, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, hello, skeleton. Love it. So I'll clear a bit more space out through here now. I think I need to go about seven blocks. And then start turning diagonally. And we should come out in a cave in a very few seconds. Minutes, maybe. I'll go one more and I think I can go straight from here. I know it's around here somewhere. There we go. Excellent. Just down that, brilliant. So now we can cross from one island to the other without ever leaving the base. Love it, absolutely love it. Well, I think I'll uh, wrap the episode up there. I'm just going to take a little slow walk through the base, have a look at everything we've done. Um, starting with the underwater tunnel, of course, which I absolutely love. and down into the main area. Um, the portal might get moved again. I've had an idea for this wall. Oh, my battery's dying. And then onwards into the iron farm and storage room. Which is probably my favourite bit at the minute, if I'm honest. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. But uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, then maybe you could pop down the bottom and click that like button for me. Um, and if you want to stay up to date with any more videos I release in the future, you could always subscribe as well. But for now, I've been Angry Terrapin, and I'll see you later.